want the guitar louder, Steve. There you go. <laughs> So anyway, you know, over the years, it's you know, you don't just, it's a great thing to be able to to make a living playing an instrument, of course, you know. And uh, you, when you're doing, it, especially when I was younger, I didn't appreciate it so much because you know you sort of sort of take it for granted. You know, but um, it has been taken away. You know, <laughs> I was very young, and if you're young and have that kind of success, you just think you're a genius or something, you know. And, and then later on, you realise the truth uh, because it gets taken away from you. And it was taken away from me. And I woke up one morning, and you know, like you see these horror stories with the ventriloquists with the dummy, you know, and the dummy's talking. Well, the guitars talk to me, actually, you know, I shouldn't tell you this, but uh, and sometimes they don't talk to you, and it's like, oh my. So I went through a very down period where I just couldn't play the guitar. And uh, what happens then? It's pretty tricky, I can tell you that much. You've just got to keep working at it and working through it. And, and then there's sometimes. Sometimes, like any other job, you don't want to do it, you know, it's like, I don't want to play guitar anymore. So some of the Savoy albums from the past, there's not, maybe not a lot of guitar on. Maybe I was going through one of those periods, you know. But I do play a lot of other instruments, and that's kind of helped me through the down times, because, um, you know, you play another instrument, you get another perspective. <laughs> Check to see if I got this note. Let me check it now. Ah. In the rehearsal room again. <laughs> okay, there, there.
Thank you. Have a good day.